Hi folks, this is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report. You know, this week I want to share some very personal feelings with all of you. And these aren't bad feelings, these are good feelings. But this is the time of the year that I get to go fishing the most. <laughs> Mainly because I make myself do it, because I know what it does for my soul. So I want to tell you what happened to me a few days ago. It was right after I did my last reports to you. And I went over to the Grass River and I was fishing in a section that I know that there's fish in. I know that I can wade along and I don't find many f people that go to the same spot. So I know I kind of have it for myself. And I, and, and I was using a little bitty lure called a bug Z, B-U-G, bug, like bugs around us. And Z at the end because it's made by Z-Man and it's made out of this plastic material that doesn't break. It stretches and stretches and doesn't tear. So you can use the same thing over and over and over again. And I was using a little red bug Z. It's two and a half inches long. Looks like some kind of bug in the water. And I was fishing one of my favorite sections of the river. I'd caught several bass and I hooked a bass that was probably... I don't know, 10 inches long maybe, and it came out of the water, and I saw something right near it, just a flash and a burst of speed, and this big muskie went at it, jumped, had it for a second. Somehow the bass got out of its mouth. The bass swam another foot or so, and the muskie hit again. And I'm thinking, okay, and now the line started peeling out of my reel, and I'm thinking, okay, I'm in for a little while, but that muskie's going to tire of the battle, or get bored or something, and it's going to spit that bass out. So the battle began, and the muskie started coming out of the water. And when he'd come out of the water, that's kind of a desperate expression of doing everything in its power to try to flip the hook. They, they, they sort of somersault and twist and move, and I guess their instincts tell them that's going to get that hook out of there. But there was no hook in there. It was a bass in there. Or was it? Because after the fourth jump, I'm thinking... There's no way that muskie's still holding on. How did my tiny little size six hook or whatever it was that, that was in this, this 1 20th ounce jig head, how is this holding this fish? And so the battle went on. And I'm thinking at this point, okay, now what am I going to do? I didn't bring any of my long needle nose pliers to try to get a hook out of anything. I had I had a little miniature pair like you'd use for almost fly tying. And I thought, okay, I'm in the water waiting. I got no net. All I have is my little light rod and my, my other hand. And so after about, I, I, it had to be 10 minutes or so, the muskie starts getting tired. And it's a good one. It's a good big one. I'm going to say 40 inches long. That's really big for the tributaries. And so I get it closer and closer. And I see it's getting tired. And I don't want it too exhausted. And I finally get it right in by me. And I'm able to take the rod. But the rod's an ultralight rod. So every time I try to do anything with the rod, the muskie would just turn its head. And I couldn't get my hand towards, I could see that tiny little lure caught in the side of its mouth. And so I reached around in my vest and I kept looking and I found this pair of like scissors and I thought, well, maybe somehow I can use the scissors as pliers. And long story short, I finally was able to wedge those scissors against the side of that hook and twist my hand real quickly and the hook came out. And the muskie, I guess, looked up at me. And now I'm, I'm kind of making this up now because I don't know what, what the muskie's eyes did. But it slowly laid there for a second and then swam away. And the good thing is it was never handled, never had the hook inside. its. It was inside its mouth, but right on the corner. So it wasn't in any area that could damage it. And rather than the exhaustion and the battle it went through, it wasn't put in a net. It wasn't put in anything, including my hands. And it was able to swim away and fight another time. So I guess the moral of this story is I had a battle of a lifetime, a battle that I would have given anything to have a camera and be able to share that video with people because it was one of the greatest video experiences, potential, that I've ever had in my life. To watch that muskie come out of the water over and over again and try to better me in this battle. I guess I bettered it 
and I don't know how. So the moral of the story is luck. It was all about luck. And, and, and it, you know, it's almost like winning at the lottery or something. Of all those times that that tiny little hook would somehow come out of the bass and go into the muskie's mouth, and I would actually catch it with no wire leader, nothing but some thin little floral carbon, and no pliers, nothing, and still both the muskie and me were unscathed, and hopefully we'll go on to fight another day. Until next time, folks, this is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report.